After dropping points in a major subscriber clash last round, the Guardians of the Crypt need to bounce back, and they need to bounce back fast. Standing in their way will be a team that everyone knows now will be good enough to beat anyone if you don't show them the respect. It is Toulouse on the road, the Guardians back at home. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby in the subscriber series where you guys take the field against the world's elite and against each other. Today we have the Guardians up against Toulouse in our round 7 matchup. Now the Guardians of the crib, last time we saw these guys in round 6 they went down by just 3 measly points to the Celtic Dragons. They'll be needing desperately to bounce back to push their way up from the disappointing sixth position that they currently sit in right now. A three win, two loss record will be short of the expectations this team had at the start of the year. Before that though, they easily dismantled the Exeter Chiefs, 29 points to seven, and should be in with a shout if they can do what the All Flakes did last round and put this Toulouse side to the sword. Their team for tonight's matchup is as follows. Oliver Bowers, Grant Morris and Isaac Vasuri will be the front row combination. Michael Shepard and George Winners will line up together in the second row with Carlos Pereira, James Winyama and Daniel Vera will complete the forward pack. Goncalo Vasco Costa will start a scrum half and Lewis Gardner will be outside him to complete the halves combination. Don Butler and Heston Gardner will be alongside each other in midfield with Pedro Luz. He's back and he's actually got a face this time, which is very, very delightful. He's on the left wing and it is Adonga Winyama on the right with Louis Evans lining up at the number 15 jumper for the Guardians looking for a big display here against Toulouse. That is right. We've already talked a little bit about that All Flakes game. That was last round where they put the Toulouse side to the sword, 35 points to seven to take a very, very good, well-earned five points. Before that, of course, the round before in round number five, it was the game that has gone down in history. Pacific Toa 14, Toulouse 15. One of the great games of this series, this season, and one we will never forget as the year goes by. The great upset of season number four. The team for this 11th place Toulouse side is as follows. We Bailey, Malvaka and Farmawina in the front row. The Ricciano alongside Joe Takori in the middle of the pack. It will be Elstad with Tulafua and Galan to complete the forward pack in the back row. Anton Dupont and Romain Intermac will be the 9 and 10 combination with Peter Aki, Safin Gatun in midfield, Maximin Madrad on the left wing, Johan Huse on the right, and of course the electric wonderful feet, and of course goal kicker as well in this side, Cecilin Colby will be at fullback for Toulouse. A dangerous team, we know all about them, but can the Guardians do what the Toa failed to, and the All Flakes did well last week. We find out over the next 80 minutes, it is round seven of the Global Rugby Challenge. Let's get down to the action. So we'll be Toulouse playing in the predominantly black with a slice of red on the shoulders. Up against the Guardians who are playing in there. Home strips the blue, white and red is underway we go. Madrid kicking off and straight down the throat it goes off Pereira. Release. And the Guardians will get the ball for the first time in the tonight's matchup. Willis, nice ball away to Shepard, finding room left inside. Pedro Loz, all alone now. Pedro can't get much over Release. halfway. Good finding room there, and here's another chance for the Guardians. Heston Gardner down the wing. Well, that was a little bit exciting there, but it was easily shut down from Susan Colby and turned over and kicked away from Peter R. Key. And here is Adonga Winyama. Down here on the sidelines, all by himself, tries to take on his opposite number, dragged down. Police. Very good tackle there from the Toulouse defender. Madran all over that one. Here's Costa back to Evans, who is up in the line from fullback. Kicks it away down to Colby. Great little pass from Chesson Colby to find room for our stat. And they quickly get over halfway to Toulouse. Waiting for it, Stacordi gives it to Intermac. Nice one to play there between the two inside backs. Release. It's sideways. Go a Toulouse once more. Arnold pick and go from him. Finding a beautiful pass way to Arkey. Beats one and two. Intermac gets the ball in space and decides to kick. Terrible decision making there from Romain Intermac. 
He got the ball in space. Really should have just run that line. And decided to kick it away, Crouch. which is very bizarre Fine. from the Toulouse fly half. So we're scrum packing down the option taken from the Guardians. And it fair, it goes from Costa. Oh, great scrum too. Picked up from Vera. Daniel Vera running. Vera goes straight through the tackle of Intermark, but the cover defense takes him down. And struggling now are the Guardians to hang on to the ball. And it is turnover possession on halfway. Intermark again kicking high over the head of Shepard this time. He nails his kick. He gets it in touch beautifully. One bounce. He finds the sideline. Really looking for that territory pressure here. Is Toulouse. It's the Guardians just try and keep things under control. That's a poor line now. Pereira goes away with it. Gets to Don Bala, who's very agile and very capable of playing in number 10 or 12. Here's Colby. Oh, man, by Luz. Petro Luz over the ball, but can't turn it over. Great retention there from Toulouse. A dummy and a run from Alstead. And a turnover from Morris. Great work there from the hooker. Gardner can't get away. Great chase back there Police. from Tonafua. Trouble for the Guardians who just can't get out of the way. This time Costa kicking away from Colby. Very good kick there from Costa. Extraordinary from the little man in the number nine. Rakes off for pile of yards there. And for the first time in the match, the Guardians find themselves in a dangerous attacking area if they can get the ball. Oh, they do with the steals in the middle. Lewis Gardner at the line. Gardner takes on into Mark Kung away and loses possession advantage to the Guardians. Forward pass. Off the hands of Zofua. We'll see this again. Well, it was. Well, we know it's a full pass there. Bind. That's some really bizarre calls from referees Sit. recently. We've seen the last match. They tried to appear Valentine. There was nothing of the sort. Here is a very good charge. Now, Costa runs. Costa runs straight to trouble too. This Costa straight into our key. And the little man had no way through there. Vera. Oh, big ball by again. It finds no one. Intercepted eventually. Katoon goes away to Madras. It was a floated pass to no one at all. He does get to. Now he's hammered. That'll be a scrum to the Guardians. So Fain Gatoon looking for the kick away. But he got sideswiped. Big tackle too. Goodness me. Michael Shepard Crouch. took him to the cleaners. Find. So we've seen Sit. two good scrums from the Guardians so far tonight. Can they tee it up with a throw? Oh, they do. Very good work. Here's Vera. Vera running. Vera looking for Costa. High tackle to and Colby. And a yellow card as well. The fullback's on his way. He is such an important piece, this puzzle for Toulouse. But they will lose Colby for 10 minutes. And the Guardians look to leadership. They look to the captain. And Heston Gardner says, we will slow this down, please, ref. We will take the three. Strong wind in the face here of Lewis Gardner as he lines up his first shot at goal. Aim to the right hand upright, curls it up beautifully off the sticks. And three points is taken. Colby in the bin. Gardner puts over three. And now this game takes an interesting twist. Amazingly, 33 minutes gone. We'll see Colby in the second half. These two teams have really cancelled each other out. It's been an amazing matchup so far with us. Great offload as well. For sure, eh? Can't get away. And a turnover as well. Big play there from Mel Parker. Here's Katoon. He's knocked the ball on. And Butler runs away with it. Butler spots the hole. Don Butler goes through. Has he got the wheels? The chase comes down from Intermec. There's Jose as well. Neither will catch him. Oh, what a run from Don Butler. Top class rugby from the Guardians of the Crib. Mistake from Gatoon. Way back in their own 22. 
deep in their own 22 as well. He was never going to win the pace race, was Butler. Intermac was racing him down. So was the chase of UJ. They had him for speed, but he got the head start straight between a couple of big guys. You see, Takori, he was leading the charge at the start. Never going to catch up with Butler. What a play and something special for our first try of this fixture. That has sparked life into this first half, which has been somewhat of a stalemate until the yellow card come the way of Cheslin Colby. Here is Gardner with the shot at goal, and that is pristine as ever from the sharpshooting number 10. And speaking of 10s, that's a scoreboard as well. 10 points to nil, the Guardians over Toulouse. We are off for half time. What a matchup we've had so far, goodness me. We've had a stalemate of a probably half an hour. Colby's gone to the bin. Three-point penalty taken. And then, sparking from nothing, Don Butler takes full toll of no fullback being in place for Toulouse. To take the scoreboard up to 10 points to nil with this game, I tell you what, it's far, far from over. And so you can look at the stats and see possession is one way to the Guardians with territory. Firmly the other two, Toulouse, the team has really put an emphasis on kicking to corners and that has almost put them in good stead before the indiscretion by Colby. The tackle counts close, both teams having a fair share of defence as well. But the big thing I think the Guardians got over this Toulouse side is the set piece, especially the scrum that has been top draw from the Guardians so far tonight. 10 now only the score. This one is certainly by no means over. We have a lot of rugby still to play. 40 minutes to go. There's the Guardians at home, leading to lose by 10. A long way from talking about bonus points or anything like that as well. At just 10 nil, one try only. We have still a lot of rugby to go here. A victory. The most important thing for the Guardians is it's underway again through... The run hit number 10 fly half, Lewis Gardner. And Pedro Lutz chases that very well. The pink head gear, he's in full flow tonight. Here's Dupont going out to midfield. A charging run of Farmer Wiener. Turned over from Oliver Bowers. Great play there by the prop. And the Guardians, another chance to ignite. Oh, that is a monstrous tackle there. And a big turnover as well. Maxime Madrad has kicked it out in the full. Was he in the 22? Surely he was. Well, it all went a bit pear-shaped there. The Guardians really didn't know what their tactic was. They got the ball and they were a little bit short-sighted of the opportunities. And this cost them 40 metres. Here is Shepard again missing the line out. Daniel Vera gets it. It's Pedro Loss. Oh, scratch the other back door. Butler, nice hit. Eastern Gardner. No one at home. Bounce picks up. And Michael Shepard gets the wheels rolling. Shepard inside. Bottle with us. With us running away. Support on his right. Who else? But Tom Butler. Forced to the corner by Madrid. But Butler grabs a double. Well, it's becoming the Don Butler show here. He is just in everything. Two tries to his name. But Michael Shepard. What a pass back and field to a second row partner, George Withers, who just looked up. He evaluated the options. He had numbers to his left, numbers to his right, support behind him to take the tackle. He had every option available. That ball was the money play because that changed this whole play. If he didn't get that ball away, there would have been chance for a turnover. He had very little support on him, did he, Shepard? It was a strong run. And that is what was required as well to get the ball up and in an advantage. And eventually the support play was all there with Withers. What a try. What a little passage here from the Guardians and especially from Don Butler. The wind at their backs. And that will be oh, much joyous for them. I think that is off the upright and over. I think it is. 17 points to nil. Well... Lewis Gardner, a strike of fortuitous luck there for the fly half. The wind didn't do as much as he thought, but it hits the top of the uprights and bounces its way over. Back underway, half an hour to play. It is all Guardians here as George Winners again Please. takes the ball down. Costa goes short to Butler, who's taking the reins of the ship at the moment tonight. Dig down to the returning Cheslin Colby. He's looking to take on Pedro Lutz. Gets the pass away nicely to Takori. 
And what can Toulouse cook up? The game is passing them by. As they look through the midfield, eventually Katoon. Oh, Katoon. No, it's not Katoon. That's Aki. Peter Aki, another injury. Boy, we've had a lot of injuries this round. Aki goes. And on will come Holmes. And a replacement at inside centre. Without knowing the depth of the squad too well. Crouch. We have to check who that Find. is coming off the bench. Set. On with the game we go. The scrum to back down, which has been really where the Guardians have itself. The put it forward to Ports. We did get into last time these two teams. Well, last time the Toulouse did play, so he's fully fit now. And into Mac tries to get away from his man. Does well nicely. And wide it goes for Holmes. And passes back inside to Paulie. Back to into Mac. Who runs hard at the line Race. again? Waiting for it now. Bailey goes wide. Get on. Nice ball out to Katoon. Plenty of space out here for Jose. Can he get away? No. Pedro Luz. Welcome to the party. Pedro with a pink cap. Turnover ball and a line out will go the way of the Guardians. Grant Morris throws. This time he hits with us. Lewis Garner hits the line himself. Oh, he hits a big tackle from Romain into Mac. Costa away to Morris. Morris does not want to kick that away. He gets away to Pedro Laws instead. Laws a little too by the top. Pace race here on. It's a good run from Hussein. Can't get there. Not releasing. Oh, penalty. Hussein on the ground and no one in a black jersey was there. Pedro Laws wasn't in the frame either. And eventually he's just being taken out. What are they going to do now here? Heston Garner, the call. He's given it to his fly half, Lewis. And he said, put us in the corner. And that's exactly what he does as well. That's a poor penalty from Toulouse as well. The discipline on that occasion, not out to scratch. The line out though from the Guardians has been rather average. Can they knock this one down? They do. They go to Wing Armour. And here's Costa. Back to Gardner. Gardner. Running Gardner. What a ball to Bowers! Oh, magic from Lewis Gardner, who almost went himself, but out the back of the hand, finds the pass to Oliver Bowers. And the loose end pop grabs a five pointer. Magical stuff here. Costa in for a bit of a run. Pass deep back to Lewis Gardner, who would have gone in himself. But he unselfishly offloaded beautifully to Oliver Bowers. This was magical work from the fly half. Watch this pass right about there. Oh, brilliant to watch. And Oliver Bowers hit it at pace as well. Straight under the uprights. Well, you give Lewis Gardner the try assist. He probably deserved more. That was how good that little play was. But he'll have at least a chance to convert. Chess and Colby had committed. There's no one home to stop the rampaging Bowers. Here is Lewis Gardner, puts over the conversion, gets the try assist. He's in all the play with Don Butler tonight. 10 and 12, really running the show. No joy at all tonight for Toulouse. Madrid would love to get something on the board for his team. They really struggled against the All Flakes. And they're struggling again tonight. This is a turnover oh, every day of the week for Katoon. No one at home at all for the Guardians. Straight through the middle, Richie Arnold. Support there from Melbaka. Big numbers and Safane Katoon will score. That is what they can do. And I tell you what, where has it been for the last 70 minutes? 24-5, Katoon scores. Straight off the kickoff. Katoon got the turnover. The Guardians were at sea. Win for a run there, Richie Arnold, Malvarka, Farmawina, and then Katoon with the final play. That was just too easy. Just far too easy. The ball didn't die. Richie Arnold did so well. Just offload after offload after offload. And the Guardians' defense was completely at sea. No clue at all. They didn't even support the player who took the ball down from the kickoff. Carlos Pereira, he was left out to die. And Toulouse awakened with just eight minutes to play. Too little, too late. But this team, if they played a full 80 minutes, they would be way up the top. The conversion is good from Cecil and Colby. 
And a scoreline now, a bit of respectability to a 24-7, no donuts. Happy days for Toulouse. Well, it puts a little bit of perspective in this game. The Guardians have been lucky. They were in an arm wrestle earlier with that yellow card. Well, it just set the whole scene for this match, didn't it? Big tackle there on Galan, and it's a touch he goes. James Winyama, solid on defence. And the underside flanker puts Galan straight to touch. A chance for one more try here, maybe, for the Guardians. It would be a bonus point as well. We've had two tries. Oh, that's shocking. Put on advantage. Butler. And that's a forward pass as well. Pereira. Oh, high tackle. What does the ref do here? Oh, the advantage is gone. The advantage is out the window. Forward pass advantage overruled. There's the forward pass. And there's time to go. But they're going to have to run this. They are. Gardner. Away to Heston. Heston Garner looking to weave his way through. He's hit heavily down. Pereira. Back to Butler. Looking for a hand trick. Tom Butler. Can he get away? A touch. Oh, he's a touch. Bonus point goes astray. And Tom Butler can't finish the deal. Full time goes. And it is all over. Guardians win impressively. But couldn't quite seal the deal with the bonus points. Well, it all got a little bit of exciting there at the end, didn't it? Dom Butler, his eyes lit up. Hattrick Hero was the story, but he just couldn't quite get it down the corner. Once again, how many times has Cheslin Colby saved Toulouse from conceding? They would have conceded at least 20 more tries against these sides. The way he's been playing is amazing, but he just can't get the support from the team around him. Tries two for Dom Butler, one for Oliver Bowers. And of course, for Toulouse, it was Safane Gatoun with the one try. Cesar Cobby converted that as well. And as for the Guardians, it was Lewis Garner, three conversions and the penalty goal to give him a nice little points tally of nine points. Could have got the try as well, but gave it instead to Oliver Bowers. Full time stats did change, didn't it? The yellow card really just completely changed this game. It just turned it upside down on its head. And no one had a clue in the Toulouse side what the hell happened. They lost their talisman. They lost the man who could create, the man who can save, and the man who is a real threat, Cecilin Colby. When he was off the field, that game just disappeared. Possession and territory nudged by the Guardians. Not much more in that, though. Big tackle count from both sides. And, of course, the injury. Yes, another injury. Peter Arke spending time on the sidelines. So we'll check out what his fitness status is at the conclusion of the matchup. But first things first, we'll have a look at the other results from this round. And we have had two games complete today. The Guardians of the crib, of course, over Toulouse 24-7. No bonus point for them. They won't be happy about that. But the other game, Saracens have beaten Leinster on the road. Now, we'll have a look at the standings in a second. But Saracens, I think, was winless and dead last. And Leinster was, along with the Haguares, the top-placed AI side. I think they're about fifth at the time. Probably lower now because the Guardians have also won, who were below them. That is a massive upset. Saracens over Leinster, 28-19. No bonus point for the Irish side either. Saracens doing big work there to get that result. We still have two games to go this round as well. All flakes against the Crusaders. And Toa up against Claremont. Let's take a look at that table. I'm excited now to see Saracens have got a win. The world is changing, I tell you. The world really is changing. Well, yes, that is exactly how it has gone down. We can see there Saracens now 12th. Exeter Chiefs, the only team not to have a victory so far. Uh, Saracens one win now. They've beaten Leinster, who is worth fifth. they dropped down to sixth position. Uh, 17 points. The, the Guardians have over uh, leapfrogged them or overtaken them up a position, so 6th and 5th is swapped, really has completely thrown this whole division into turmoil now, third loss for Leinster, who said with 3 wins, 3 losses and a draw, uh, that really has been a surprise, Saracens finally getting a victory, it's taken them 6 games, but they are on the board, 4 points now, the only team next to the Chiefs not to grab a victory or any points at all. The All Flakes are up next and they need another big win. If they do pick it up, they could go as high as seventh. You see the Crusaders, who they do face next, are in that position right now. So a five-point win will get them up to 16. But of course, a loss, well, that would be catastrophic 
for the All Flake side. Hagwad is still sitting at the top there, unbeaten still on 26, equal with the Flakers, but of course the Hagwadas have the game in hand. Towers at third, Dragons and the Guardians are fourth and fifth. Leinster Crusaders and Glasgow round out 6, 7 and 8 with the All Flakes coming at 9. Cremont, Toulouse, Saracens and next to the Chiefs are the complete table. And of course next time out will be the All Flakes versus the Crusaders. That is at home for the All Flakes side. They are needing a big, big win. The Crusaders side though, they are not easy beats. So this should be an interesting matchup much like the Flakers and the Hagwadas. This Crusaders team is up there with some of the best AI teams. We can see on the right hand side the full table there are just on the top five teams um, that it is subscriber sides who really are filling out now as the season wears on. There's still a little water to go under that bridge and you can guarantee that the Hagwadas will have a lot to say about how the season does run out. That is me for today though. Thanks for tuning and watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Plenty more subscriber series coming your way over the next few days as well. So make sure you tune into those matches. And of course, thanks you all for tuning and watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. And I'll see you all next time. More Flakes Crusaders. I'll see you there. Take care.